So here we have the third design of softbox, which is a strip softbox. Um, this one, again, is a push open system. Now this is a little bit more fiddly. So again, I'm going to do this on the floor and just slowly sort of, that's it, that's gone in there. So you can see that that was really quick. Um, it does take a little bit of practice doing it to and fro to get it right, but it's pretty quick once you know how to do it. Okay, so here we have the bracket. Um, this bracket basically mounts to any stand. It's got a little screw fitting here that will just attach it to any normal lighting stand. Let's just tighten that up. Um, now the features of this particular bracket are it's got a special ball head so that allows you to rotate, have it on an angle if you need it, any sort of angle that you want to have it. Um, this particular screw here allows you to raise or lower this section depending on how high your flash is compared to the softbox so that you can centre it within it. Um, and then we've got this little screw here and this is how you attach the uh, you either attach a wireless trigger to this piece or we've got a, a mounting bracket that you can attach your speed light directly to that mounts on top of there. So let's grab the softbox and we're going to turn this round. That's the wrong one. Okay, oops. Put this down. Just do it one, one step at a time. Right, so the softbox literally screws onto this thing here. Um, there's like a little rubber bung on this uh, particular screw that you need to make sure you don't lose because that helps it just grip the back of the softbox nice and tightly. Let's screw this up. Okay, that's nice and tight. Okay, now if I, if I turn this round now you can see the front of the softbox. That's great, now we're ready to attach the flash. Okay, so here we have our flash. Um, it's mounted on our little wireless trigger unit. Uh, the trigger unit's got a little screw thread fitting in the bottom that we're going to attach to our little mounting plate here. So, first of all, let's push. I'm gonna push the flash the bottom of the flash through this little sleeve and then I can screw on that plate on the bottom and just make sure I'm lined up properly. Okay, and that's nice and tight. Now what I'm going to do is just pull that sleeve a little bit up and over the camera, sorry, the, uh, the flash unit. It's a little bit fiddly. Okay, that's fine. Right, so the beauty of, um, just going back to the beauty of the ball head socket is that you can change, change your angle. So depending on whatever angle you want the flash on, you can point it down or up on its side. Uh, the ball head allows you to do that. Let me try and uh, fit it fairly central. So now our flash is in there, there's a couple of different things we can do with it. We can we can either point it straight up and let the, fla the flash bounce off the top and spread around the inside of the softbox, or the way we're going to do it today, which is a more traditional way, is to point it forward and just shoot it out straight. Now, we get a couple of diffusion panels with this. We get um, the central diffusion panel, which has a little silver area in the middle, and on the other side is plain white. Um, now this will allow you to have a couple of different um, effects when you, d depending on which way you put it in the softbox, it's going to cause a slightly different lighting effect. Um, the other thing that we get with this softbox is a front diffuser panel, which is this one, which obviously goes on the outside here. Now you can use both of these at once or you can use a combination or you can use one on its own or the other one on its own and each combination that you do is going to give you a slightly different effect with the way that it shapes the light coming out of the softbox um, so just to illustrate to start with I'm going to attach this into the center of the softbox 
uh, via these little elastic clips here. Um, but it may take some time, so just bear with me. Okay, that's just clipped in there. The more you practice this, the quicker you're going to get at it, to be honest. It does take a little bit of getting used to at first, but once once you know what you're doing, it's, it seems to be a lot quicker. Uh, okay, just got one more to do. Let me just readjust the ball head. Okay, and last one. Okay, it's a little bit fiddly. Let me just straighten that up. Okay, so as I said, we could use the flash as it is, um, like that, and just let it bounce. It's going to bounce off that inner panel. That's going to bounce back off the back of the softbox and come out uh, and create quite an interesting light source. So now we've got this inner diffuser in, um, we're going to stick in the other diffuser, which I have here. And again, this just connects with Velcro. Uh, so I'll start at the top, just spread it out. Again, just run your finger down the side. That will just make sure the seal is, is pretty good. And then we just sort out the bottom bit here. Just get it as straight as we can. Okay, and that's attached. Okay, let's just spin this round. That's great. Okay, so we're just going to test this out and get the wireless trigger unit and just see if it's working. Yeah, and that's working fine. So again, depending on how what type of photo you're doing, you can adjust this round. And again, that's going to still trigger that way. So it's quite a versatile little unit, um, you know, to have this sort of strip softbox, uh, be able to have it on your speed light is, uh, is something quite interesting. Okay, so uh, we've seen how this softbox works. We're going to now take it apart. So this comes off really easily. Literally just comes off quickly with the Velcro. Let's put that to one side. Um, now this time I'm not going to take the inner diffusers out because obviously once they're in there sometimes it's easier to take it up and put it apart with it left in. And just to show you that we can leave it in there and still take it apart, I'm going to uh, just stretch my hand around and hold the flash unit and then undo the screw at the bottom that's holding the wireless triggering. Okay, and that's undone and the flash and the trigger literally lift out like that. Let me put that to one side. Oops, it's triggering again. Okay. Now, what I need to do now, I'm going to turn the, uh, I'm going to turn the unit round so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to undo this screw at the back, and that's going to release the soft box from the from the bracket. Again, just remember that there's a little rubber, a little rubber washer on the back of this just to hold it in place properly, just so it's tight. Um, often when you're undoing it, that little rubber washer will just pop out a little bit, so just push it back on and make sure it doesn't fall off. Okay, now we've got the inner diffuser on there, now all I'm going to do is reach past that and just pull and the softbox is down. It's as easy as that.